Welcome one and all to a new series on Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm your host, Lee Zone, and we're going to get into things. This is episode one, so we're going to look at Little Creek River today. We're going to look at the areas surrounding Little Creek River, including Stoke Shack, Vetter's Echo, Hanging Dog Ranch, Watson's Cabin, and Valley View. I would like to point out in this episode that I'm at a low level and I've just completed the first chapter. That's what this is about, is going into the world, exploring the free roam at the lowest possible level you can be. I hope you enjoy this episode, hope you enjoy what we come across, the little events we see, and yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. It's going to be a long one. So first we head north to Watson's cabin. What lies there? is another question entirely. We are currently in the West Grizzlies slash Big Valley area. That's where Little Creek River is based, in between them both. And yeah, the mount I'm riding here was actually found at Watson's cabin, and this is me returning a second time. Here I am just looking around the outside for a little bit. As you see, there's another fellow donkey hitched up. And we also see some chickens in a pen of some sort. I'm actually going to approach the cabin now and I'm going to shut up for a minute so you can hear what actually is being said by the character that lives in the cabin. So I'll come back to you in a minute. About damn time. They said you'd be through two days ago. Just leave what you got in this. Ooh, bread. Now that's a worse mistake you could ever make. You think you can steal from me? You got no idea of the pain coming your way. Let me give you some advice. Turn around. Walk out of here. Get far, far away. I said, get the hell out of my house. No, you son of a bitch! Take that, son of a bitch! Okay. Very well. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. All right. See. You. That's it. I'm gonna find my sons. They'll skin you alive when I tell them what you've done. For me, you son of a bitch! You wait till my boys get their hands on you! <laughs> so, as you saw there, I chose to steal from Mrs. Watson there. It obviously changed the dialogue there because it interrupted what she was saying, and I don't know what she was going to say. She said, store something somewhere, and then I saw some bread, and I was a fool, and I took the bread and she got upset and now she's gone to find her sons. I could have also followed her to see where she was going and to see if she was inevitably going to find her sons or if it was just like uh, a scripted event which just caused her to run away. So while she was out of the cabin, I took this opportunity to rob the place. So here I also examine a image of the family. There's Miss Watson with her sons, I guess. But the most important thing I found that sort of stuck out to me was this little room here. This little hidden compartment underneath the cabin, which is like a little basement area, storage area. And if you go down there, you find a semi-automatic shotgun. And a lot of Red Dead Redemption fans will remember this gun, this weapon from Red Dead Redemption. And a lot of people will remember this gun from Red Dead Redemption 1 because it was actually one of the most OP weapons in the game if um, I'm not mistaken. You don't want to buy a shotgun from a gunsmith. It's a good little location to go sort of loot. So you can grab yourself a decent shotgun. So I move out and I actually chose to return in an hour's time and well, this is what happened. I don't know who's dumber, you, Ethan, Edgar or Ezra? Keep telling you, Ma. We'll get you a new place. 
Anything you want. Ain't like we're short on money. I want a new place. I got everything I need right here. How many times, Elijah? Shut your mouth before I shut it for you. We got a visitor! interesting as a gameplay mechanic the fact that you can sort of pass time and events change people change and locations change and as she said she would bring her sons back and she did she did get her sons and they were there at the house ready for me unfortunately they weren't ready enough so now moving on we head to a place called hang dog ranch which is actually a gang hideout or gang territory owned by the O'Driscolls. So as I'm doing this as a video, I came here at a low level and this is not what you should be doing. I was highly outgunned and outleveled. So as you see here, I'm having a little bit of trouble. Luckily, I kind of used the cover cheese and hide and managed to scrap my way through and take out the gang. But um, yeah, I do recommend you coming at a higher level with better weapons. After I shot the majority of the Odriscals, they all started to flee and fall back to another position. This left the whole hideout free of Odriscals and able for me to search the place. Before I did so, I wanted to get on this little mounted Maxim gun and express my uh, inner being, shall we say. I kind of wish I had enemies to shoot at, but you can't wish for everything nowadays. So moving over to this little cabin here, I believe this is the only place in this hideout with actual hidden collectibles and within this lodge I found two cigarette cards. For an O'Driscoll's baby? Probably. Gonna need a few more now. So after clearing this place, I decide to head out and we move south to Stilt Shack. Easy. So it appears you get what it says on the tin. Stilt Shack is indeed a shack on stilts. If we take a look inside, there's not a lot going on in here, but it does identify further that it is owned by, indeed, a hunter of some sort. Maybe if I came back at a different time, there may have been someone here, but I'm pretty sure I bump into someone later on in this video that may have some relevance to this little shack here. So overall, not a lot here, just a few items to aid you in hunting and killing animals. So we now move to Vetter's Echo. Yeah. So, like we've seen before, another quaint, lonesome cabin in the woods. But as I approach, I start hearing this panting, and I'm thinking, what's going on? What's crazy? What crazy witchcraft's going on here? So I start heading around the back, tiptoe, tiptoe. And as I do, we're introduced to a little friend. 
call him Bear Grylls. <laughs> shave. I don't shave. As you can see the bear must have clawed its way through the door frame here. Inside we find a dead body. On the desk we find a typewriter. We have the initials EC spelled out in matchsticks. Also we have a cigarette card and also in the drawers we have two written poems. Also we have the phrase you want punishment etched out in the drawer. As we do leave through the front door this time we do come across another cigarette card. Moving on we head down to our final location of Little Creek River and that being Valley View. <laughs> Can't you see I'm tracking game here? Is this the hunter that owns Stilt Shack? Maybe. We don't know. I thought I'd join this guy on his hunt, see if we could get any luck. But I turned out to be more of a hindrance, shall we say. Something's been here recently. Okay. I saw you over there. Fortunately I ended up killing him as well, the hunter himself, and I kind of felt bad. I locked onto him with Deadeye and I just, just couldn't cancel it, tried to, but um, yeah, he, he's dead now and I, I shot a man while he was trying to hunt a bear. Well he was going to get killed by the bear, I was kind of putting him out of his misery. So there we have it, Little Creek River. I hope you enjoyed today's video, I hope you stick around to see the future content and the future exploration videos. I believe the next episode is Fort Hagen, not Fort Hagen, correction, Mount Hagen, 
and the area surrounding Mount Hagen. And yeah, we're just gonna keep taking location by location, time at a time, and just going on little journeys and seeing what we can see at a low level with uh, hardly any game completed. I hope you liked the video, and if you did, please shoot that like button. It helps me out a lot. Also, the subscribe and you know the support also helps. So if you want to uh, go down that route and subscribe to the channel, that will be greatly appreciated as well. So everybody take care now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again. Goodbye. I wanted to kill those guys. I wanted to name those guys. I wanted to make them suffer every way I could.